Come here. <laughs> Andy Benson is quite fond of the newest addition on his family's farm. I'll probably pay more attention to her some of the other ones. The calf, named Lucky, got her name after her brush with death. We knew it was alive when we were first pulling it because its tongue was moving, but as soon as we got it out, we knew it was struggling to breathe, and then it uh, just stopped breathing, went right limp after it gave three, three big kicks. Benson said it's not uncommon for deaths to occur when calves are being born, but he had a feeling this one was different. I tried to get the fluid out and couldn't get nothing, so we set him down and I wiped his nose off and started to blow, covered its, covered its mouth and other nostril and started blowing in its opposite nostril and I did to do it five or six times. After Benson gave the calf CPR and his father pressed on its chest to get its heart going, the calf started to breathe. I didn't know if he was going to make it, but he did finally come around. This isn't the first time Benson has administered CPR on his farm, but it is the first time he's ever done it successfully. The cow calved in the other barn there and we weren't there. And uh, when it came out, it folded its head under itself and couldn't get its head out. And then by the time, it was just minutes after she calved when I got over there, but I couldn't get no response out of that one. Benson says he figured out how to give CPR to an animal after seeing something on TV. It was a long time ago, actually, and I just always remembered it. I seen a guy doing it to a deer on TV, and I figured if it could do it to a deer, you must be able to do it to a cow. So I figured I'd try it anyway, give her a chance. Now, Lucky the calf is healthy and happy, and Benson says she's milking all the attention she can get. Ashley Blackford, CTV News, Belle Isle Creek, New Brunswick.